It's the holiday season, and I'm about to bust a nut. That means to uh, break a like break a nut, use a nutcracker, right? Is that what that means? A couple days ago, one of you tweeted at me and said that I had said I would eat bugs if I got to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And my response was, I said I would eat bugs if I hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I have no recollection of saying that. But then she brought proof. So I got three different flavors. Sriracha flavored, chocolate coffee, sour cream and onion. I might try all three of them, but I probably won't because that sounds awful. Put it toward my knees and my knees cracked them right open. Oh my God. Wouldn't it be a bit like that I would do if I bought these bugs and then I just, I just didn't eat them. I'd zoom in and I'd zoom in one more time and I'd go, fucking got ya. I bought the bugs and I didn't even eat them. Isn't, that's a good bit, right? Oh no. Hmm. Interesting. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. So today's video isn't about anything trending or something, you know, potentially illegal that I had been seeing, but it's something that annoys me almost every day. I use Instagram a lot, and for some reason, I always go to the explore page when I have nothing to check in small hopes that I'll see like a funny old vine or, you know, like an actually good comedy video. And I do sometimes, but most of the time, it's fucking garbage. In the explore page, Instagram has a little box that says comedians on it. When you click on it, it just keeps a feed going of comedians making comedy. <laughs> so yesterday I just clicked on the comedians page, kept the links to some of the videos that came up, and now we're gonna talk about what I saw. I'm not just cherry picking a bunch of bad videos on Instagram. Let's give them a fair chance of showing us comedy. But first, actually, I want to cherry pick and show one bad video that I saw back in like April. I couldn't make an entire video out of this one small Instagram video, so I'm finally glad to talk about it. It's by an Instagram star named Cornell, and let's just give it a look. Balls and all. Balls and all. Whoa! How are you gonna make that funny? I I get it's like lighthearted, you're in a scream mask, but this video is about forcing her to do that so she doesn't die. Maybe, maybe he can save this. I don't know. Let's let's see. Let's see how it ends. Oh, you did your thing. Like oh, no. that was the best head I ever got in my life. Good. Good. Too bad I'm still have to end yours. What? <laughs> Holy shit. So that Instagram comedy video was about breaking into a home, threatening to kill a woman, forcing her to give you a blowjob, and then killing her anyway afterwards. The laughs just keep on coming. Oh boy. Holy sh holy shit. What the fuck? What the that one was cherry picked, all right? We won't blame all of Instagram for that. Blame me, if anything. Just blame me for every everything, honestly. These next ones were actually recommended to me yesterday. Hey babe, I got you a slice of pizza. Oh, you're so nice, thanks. Hey Brad. No way. You say that I'm messing with you. Dude, Morgan is cheating on you. What? Hey Brad. Who is that guy over there? That's my brother. I, listen, I don't like making fun of content just because it's bad. You know that. I usually like to make fun of content when someone's doing something wrong. And Brent Rivera isn't doing anything wrong. I just, whenever I see a video of his, it's just, it's that classic Instagram comedy where it's like, was the concept that basic? Where you were like, hmm, friends, friends and girlfriends usually clash. So let's have them battle it out with a, a, whole pizza instead of a slice. Hey Brad, I got you a bike. That's so nice. That's cute. Yeah, and what did you get it? A new car. A new car? What? 
Brent stuff really isn't, it's not cringy in any way. It's just lazy, you know? His comedy is like something you'd expect out of YouTube or the internet in 2008. Just the most basic form of relatable comedy. And he's still doing it. When Instagram is uh, suggesting content, sometimes it'll choose one creator and just show a couple of their stuff. So uh, I got this guy, Ruman, or Ruman, and he makes uh, some interesting stuff. So let's let's take a look at the first one that I saw. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I didn't even see you. I, I just... I bumped into you. <laughs> my mind, it's, it's everywhere. I'm, I'm sorry, but you're okay, right? Oh, yeah, um, it's, it's nothing. It's, it was just a little bump. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> okay, my hand. Okay. That's creepy. Don't, don't grab her hand. <laughs> All right. Have a nice day. Yeah. There was slow romantic music here, but I don't want a copyright strike, so I, I guess I'll tell you the story of my life, starting with, you know, day one, I was born. Oh, we're out of time. We're not out of time. Why would you interrupt? Now we're out. if we're out of time now. Why would you interrupt me? I, hope you I don't really think like. I like you. You don't like me. <laughs> I don't even know you. So you don't want to get married? <laughs> no, absolutely not. What the hell just happened? I don't even know. I I'm so sorry. My mind. Instagram comedy videos are a lot like cartoons, where you know there's one concept in this, like like Pepe Le Pew. This guy's this guy's a skunk in this scenario and he's like i want to bang that girl just like peppy le pew is like i want to fuck that cat with almost every instagram comedy video i see it never makes full sense the concept is sort of there even if it's bad but the execution is always just terrible it's so bad i guess that's what happens when you put people who aren't comedians in the shoes of someone who is a comedian and they need to come up with sketch comedy. Sketch comedy is hard. So for Lele Pons or for Ruman or for Brent Rivera to consistently come up with sketches every day, they're going to be bad because they're not comedians. I got a very small amount of comments on my Lele Pons video saying it's, it's a sketch. It's fictional. So that it's comedy. That's not an excuse for dumb writing and plots that don't make any sense. There's absurdism, and you can recognize it when you see it. None of these people are trying to be absurd. They're just trying to make relatable sketches that kids share with each other. Also, Ruman, I didn't get why you put women, women think too much there. You both ran toward each other. Why was that caption there? It didn't aid, it only confused me, honestly. Yoga. Were you trying to pull a fast one? Nope. Not at all. This is a sketch about trying to take a girl. Google it really quick. This song says, I'ma take your girl in it. So let's distort and make the audio really bad and just put that over the video because that's hilarious. Yes. You wanted to take a girl in the video and the song, but the song's saying, I'm gonna take your girl. And in, and in the sketch, holy shit. Everything on the menu is so expensive. Why are you following us? You have something for my girlfriend? Nope. Not at all. And it's going somewhere else. This guy's creeping me out. What are you doing in my house? I'm gonna take your girl. You really do want to smash. Nope. Not at all. Yes. Guys, I can't find a part two. What happened to that guy? What happened to the boyfriend? Do I need to call somebody? Do I need to call the police? I'm sure there's a bunch of kids that would argue and be like, it's comedy. It doesn't matter that he broke into the house with gloves on and the boyfriend said, you really do want to smash. You really do want to bang my girlfriend who literally has not said anything to you this entire time and has not acknowledged your presence at all. Hey guys, get this. So in the sketch, it's when she has a boyfriend and I follow the couple around for a long time and in different places. And then I break into their home and I kill the boyfriend. And then after that, I get to smash. No. Why? No and why. Bo both together. Just no and why repeatedly all the time. The next one. 
is from Lele Pons, who was just featured in YouTube Rewind. I saw it right before I started filming. She was talking to Stephen Colbert. They fucking put Lele Pons in the front of YouTube Rewind. Sidetrack real quick. Clearly, Shot Studios, the studio that it works with all those Instagram star Viners, is paying YouTube to be on trending. At one point, if you saw my Twitter, about a week and a half ago, there were three different Instagram stars who made Walking Dead promotional videos together, and they trended over the span of two days. They were on the top of trending with almost the same content for absolutely no reason. I don't have full proof other than them trending all the time. We know trending is a place for advertisements. So to put her in the front of YouTube Rewind, like she's doing so well on YouTube and that we should celebrate Lele Pons, it's it's kind of an insult to everyone who works really hard on this platform. Now, we all know that YouTube Rewind is a pile of garbage anyway, but it is YouTube as a company acknowledging somebody who makes sponsored content to kids that isn't monitored, who pays to get on the trending page. Oh, and Jake Paul and Logan Paul have a big scene in it. So, this platform. All right, back to Lele's video. Hi, Lele. Hi, Anwar. I really like your friend. Like a lot. I heard that. Yeah, I like you. You wanna go out later on tonight? Um, oh, you're so cute. Um, I'll pick you up at eight. Why don't you say no? Oh, come on, Hannah, he's so nice. You know, I can't say no to him. I feel like these Instagram stars have a dartboard, right? For ideas. And there's only four sections to the board and they get three darts. The four sections are boyfriend, girlfriend, cheating, and crush. If there's none of those in there, you don't have an Instagram video, all right? Then you're bad at it. Stop playing hard to get. I have a girlfriend! Go get out of here! Hey! That's my girlfriend! What did you say? I said that's my girlfriend. I'll show you! Kiss me. Go ahead, kiss. Oh my god, I can't! I can't. Oh, oh my god! You. That's what I you fucking god! It's just not funny. It's just not a funny concept or delivery. It's just not good. I think to say that like they make it for children, so you know it, it's it's bad. That's fine. Is a dumb excuse. There are children's content that's really good. Seasons one through three of SpongeBob are fucking hilarious. You shouldn't get a pass just because you make content aimed toward children. I know Instagram comedians are on something that are new, you know, or even really celebrated. Everyone's talked about how shit they are, but it's still something to note when they're continuously getting more popular and now they're starting to bleed into YouTube more and more. They're on trending all the time. If you wanna make shitty Instagram content, that's fine. Just stay in your fucking lane. Adults don't want to watch your stuff. Stop. Stop going on YouTube. Stop crowding the trending page. Stop showing us all your shit content. It's not good. And we don't want to see it. And I'm about to bust a nut. Time to read off those Patreon patrons. Bot Nerdlet, Business Vulture, Damian Smith, Carrie, Ashley North, Maggie Fay, Noah Majid, Dominic Petrilli, Warren, William, Shira Wolf, Aurora Hudson, Evan Leibel, Kaufi, and Francis Pace Nunes. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I love you.